Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hand of Fate. My name is Scroat, and let's dive right now on in. We play. Yes, you can now, now we play. Endless mode, if you oh. wish to test your skills against chance itself. So now we have endless mode unlocked. This is really cool. Uh, this is essentially like an infinite dungeon. You you try to see how far you can make it, and the cool thing is, like all the bosses you've defeated and whatnot. Uh, they show up in endless mode as just like, you know, normal fights and things. I think they do that in the normal series as well, like in the normal story mode. But uh, endless mode is something cool that we could definitely check out if we can beat the game. And, uh, you know, next up, we got the King of Dust we got to fight. He's the King of the Bandits. Anybody remember the anime, King of the Bandit Jing? I used to love that. I bet nobody here has heard of it. I will be so impressed. I have the whole box set over here for that anime series. Absolutely love it. Such a random, cool, sort of laid-back series. Anyways, that's a totally weird side tangent. Okay, so the King of Dust, what does he bring to the table here? We've got a Compensation Curse, uh, which says, Whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. So essentially, the more health we have at the end of combat, the more gold we'll essentially lose. You know, I mean, we're probably not talking about losing more than, uh, you know, five or six gold with full health, so not bad. And uh, we've got some ambush cards, and definitely some bandit cards that they will be throwing in. Some men in. thrive in anarchy and chaos. The King of Dust is one such. His tools are cruelty and terror, and I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. He may harbor a great hatred for us, but I don't know if we're friends with the King of uh, Dust or the dealer, whatever. So you can see here, now we're up to 22 cards in the decks, which is pretty sweet. So let's get our equipment deck built out here. Let's take a look, see what's new. So we can add, uh, what, four more. So let's do that. Berserker armor. Scorching zeal. This looks like a very cool mace of sorts. Some sort of hammer. I don't know. Uh, two more. So let's get let's get the healer's ring. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get um, let's get the time heals in there. I don't even know what that is. We haven't uh, encountered that yet. All right. So that's done. That's nice and quick. We don't have a super huge amount of cards. So now let's take a look at the encounters deck. We have four new ones. So let's take some out. Let's see if we can get some of the new ones in there. Let's take out River because that's weird. I like the Devil's Carnival, because we got those D-nips on there, you know? The old D-nips. Same with this one. Devil's Choice. Let's get this out. Let's start adding some of these. Ooh, Devil's Wager. More of the nips going on there. Old Graveyard. Asleep at the End. Culling of the Ratmen. And we'll take out... we got to take out one more. Hmm. You know what? I don't really want Mr. Lionel. He's great and all, but... Oh, you know what? Let's put him back in. Screw it. Screw it, Lionel. What you got for me? Let's take out... Uh... Oh, boy. So look at all these new cards we have just not encountered yet. Oh my god, our deck is huge. Uh, we will take out the... No, but I like the Helpful Priest. Alright, see ya, Lionel. Sorry, bro. Token. What's this? Token. Oh, so we haven't earned the token on the river yet. So let's take the treasure chest out. In order to get the token for the river, we need to get a huge success when we try to cross it. Alright, we're ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, well, now, now here we go. Start game! In these lands, the King of Dust takes his tithe of all. The King of Dust is also super dusty. He is just like a, just like a waft of dust moving about everywhere. That's why he's the king, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he's the king. Alright, here we go. Throwing some cards over here towards us. Look at them at some point. My kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. Yes, they will turn that power to our destruction. Let me do something real quick here. Settings. Let's let's turn the SFX and the music down a bit. Uh, we'll still get tunes. Don't worry about that. Uh, maybe like this. I'm trying to make it so we can hear his voice when he talks. So I don't have to do tons of post-editing to, like, make him hearable. Okay, so let's start this baby. Helpful priest! That's a great start, if we can get it. So here we go. Oh, oh my god, we gotta give him half our food. You know what? I like to live on the edge. Let's do it. We want this. We want this so bad. I want that so super bad. A choice. Here it Select is. Select your desire. 
Mm. Yeah, how did I follow that? I don't even know. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw two blessing cards. Retribution. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. No, you're not going to rebalance this. So whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there is a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. So this is like a sort of like a, a card you hope you never have to have used because you, in a perfect world, would love to be blocking all of those ranged attacks. But, you know, it's great to have in your back pocket and helping hand. Very nice indeed. So yeah, the next time we are uh, half dead, we'll get a full heal. I like that. All right, which way, which way? If we get the uh, cart, we are taking it to the next place. Uh-oh, new card. Cave mouth. What's this? What is this? I don't know. Oh, the next step of your journey takes you from a cave out to the feet of an imposing forest. We shall continue. We will exit the cave. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Yeah, we do. Do you understand how this game works now? Do you comprehend the stakes? I don't. Could you explain everything over to me from scratch, please, dealer? Uh, we're gonna head this way. Looks cool. Uh-oh. Your battle. food runs short. This does not bode well. No, it doesn't, man. Alright, one monster card. Oh my god, six of plagues? Oh man, okay. This is gonna be a little difficult. We don't have any equipment beyond our starter stuff. Thankfully, though, if you re recall, since we got that upgrade card, we do start with a shield. After we beat the uh, first, you know, tier of bosses. Oh yeah, axe in hand, looking sexy. Mm-hmm, health looking good, heart. Where are they, I wonder? Oh! Boom. Okay, I gotta... It's been a couple days since I last played. I gotta remember, you know, like, controls and stuff. And remember, when you kill a rat man, they, uh, they crap out like this, this green poison. You can see it over there, uh, in front of us or behind us. If you get in that, it's like constant damage. It really sucks. Get out of there. All right, I don't like Ratman. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I really don't like Ratman. Okay, that kind of hurt, and that hurt. Let's kill this guy. So we are taking some poison damage right now, which really sucks. It looks like, maybe, is it even if they hit you that you take poison damage? I don't know. We definitely had a gooch there. Golly, we lost 31 health. And there goes all of our gold. Cool. What a good start. Oh my gosh. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of ratmen. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps? Yes, as I twiddle my pinky against my upper lip. That actually sounded weird. You know what I just noticed? There's like a little spider back here. Look at him. Whee! He just took off. All right. Only way we can go right now. Unless we go backwards. Goblins. Goblins. I do love goblins. I don't. Truly, I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent. Really? So, one night, you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. That's bullshit. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away. They've stolen some of your food and gold. No! You didn't. Three goblins. And they took some of our food. Let's see. This is not... This is not starting off well for us. Um, we have one food right now, ladies and gentlemen. One gooch of food. One Snugenheim of a gripped bar of food, if you will. All right, load up my equipment, catch the shield, catch your axe. That's dangerous. Remember, never throw weapons like that. Never throw weapons. First off, barrel. Suck it. Look at these goblins. You know what these remind me of, for those of you who play Diablo 3? It's like, uh... They're like the treasure goblins, you know? Just sit here and, like, hammer on this guy. So these guys are a little tough. Like, I know that they can summon or they can just, like, get out of here or something. They do this weird maneuver that I've seen. Suck it. Suck it. He's dead. All right, let's get over there. Last goblin. Boom! Your goblin pouch, man. It's like a huge nutsack. It just went flying up in the air. I want all the gold out of it. Hey, look, we are actually getting gold for this. Did we win? Oh, no, we didn't. Boom. Goblin smack. <laughs> that sounds like a drug, doesn't it? Yo, man, shoot me up with some of that gob smack. All right. With the goblin threat dealt with, you continue on your way. Really? We get nothing for that? Oh, but we got five food. Look, we stole a bunch of food from them. That's right, goblins. Whatever. You don't even know. 
So we could Rather actually trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. We could hitch a ride. That's what I was gonna say until the dealer interrupted me. I don't know if he knew that I was talking though. That's the thing. Pretty sure he didn't. Hmm, do I want to hitch a ride or do I want to Yep, let's do it. Let's go ahead and hitch one. Let's go down another level. Because our food is extremely low. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the what? rest, you are silent. No. no, 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 I'll tell you. Uh, I met this hobo down on the street. And he was like, hey man, have you ever seen Hand of Fate before? And I was like, no, what's that? And, you know, he whipped out like a supercomputer and we played it right there. And that's where I learned about it. So Traveling Mage, we really can't do anything with the Traveling Mage. We have three gold. We don't have anything to sell. We have, like, no equipment we've earned. Let's pass it by. That's all we can do. It's really a bummer. Well, we can go back to it, though, if we do get some money. Some cold, hard, fat cash. Ooh, asleep at the what inn. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? A, a jerk scoundrel would do that. So, whilst sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. I mean, how did, he, how did I not hear him get into the door? You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Ha <laughs> easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. Hmm, I don't know about that. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. Uh, okay, what do I want to do here? You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. Alright, that's, that's bullcrap. I didn't have a chance to block that. Looks like Nancy here wants to fight. That's not my name, it's Scroat. He'll learn. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and turns to leave. You know what? You're, you're toast, brah. With one practiced swing, you... Oh my gosh! Oh no, this was, like, not an actual encounter. We executed him. A surprise gasp is the last sound he makes. Suddenly the room fills with his lackeys. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. Whole lot of dust coming at us, ladies and gents. Whole lot of dust. It's a good thing I'm wearing my dust poncho. I actually got this... Uh... A long time ago. I was trying to think of, uh... What's the guy's name in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? Why can't I think of this actor's name right now? He's like a Clint Eastwood. Oh my gosh, it's Clint Eastwood. Yeah, if you ever watch any western with Clint Eastwood, it's very dusty, and he's always wearing a sweet poncho. And, uh, you know, he's always got like a little cigarello in his mouth. You know, it's like a little baby cig. Which is uh, baby baby cigar, is what I'm talking about. Not a cigarette. You know, I don't think Clint Eastwood was smoking uh, Marlboros or anything back in the, the western days. Could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. Probably not, though. Okay, so a lot of bandits. We keep... Oh, yeah, we just wrecked that guy. Boom. This guy keeps shooting arrows at us, and it's pissing me off. He's getting uh, within my flow here. He's, he's jacking some of my mojo. Which is a negative. There we go. Oh, right. A body slice. A body slice. That. Whoa, look at that card next to him. Was that a naked lady? I'm going to have to go back in the video and look at that. And rewind it. I swear to God, there was like, when he died, there was like a card at his head. It looked like a little naked lady, like a playboy. Anyways, um, thieves dealt with. You accidentally wipe your brow with hand slick with a hand slick with the blood that has run down your weapon. That's okay. You turn, hoping to find a wash basin, and then find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Remember, oh, we had to be nice to him. Remember? Its eyes, so familiar, so real, compared to its shifting body, look at you in fear. Oh, no. He probably did not like what just happened. You took their lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I'm thinking so hard. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. I won't, friendly ghost man. Another day, my friend. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. Give me that token. No, we didn't get it because we killed everybody. I'm going down here. An uh oh, ambush. Bandits are sorely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. I know they won't the let me reach him easily. Are sorely loyal to their king. He just said that he's they saying it twice. They will not let you reach him easily. I wonder if he forgot. You know, he like gets lunch and eats, and then he's like, "Hmm, I should eat lunch again." So he gets lunch and eats. Uh, a slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. We're drawing it. Three of dust, with two uh, red doodly boots, uh, red bubble. Squeeps. I don't know what they're called. Like like weird little hexagonal, funky drawn circular things. Alright, this should be cakewalk for us, right? Three bandits? Come on. 50 bucks says I don't even get hit. Ain't nobody gonna hit me. Watch this. Twirl around that guy. 
Swing at his friend. Come over here. Smack that guy in the face. Punch him in the head. Face slap. Face slap. Head jammer. Right in the back. All right. Face and kick this guy. Hammer this guy's face. Dead. Narration complete. Form of. Awesome. All right. So we lost more money. It's essentially with this curse. Like, we just can't keep money in our, in our pockets. All right. So while searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only a pre pretending to be dead. Ooh, that's scary. But I'm going to kill him. Uh oh, okay. Watch this card, everybody. It's right here. So I don't want failure. I want success. We're gonna we're gonna kill him. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. Yeah, three game cards. That's just what we needed. All I'm right, sure you're piece of equipment. For that. No, that's a crappy shield. I'm already wearing this. Really? I'll... Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, man. I'm already wearing one. Uh, okay, three food. We sorely needed that. And 15 health. Hey, if back up to Max. Health, then I work harder to take it. Good. Good. Dare you to try. Oh, forest escape. Wow, the dungeon. Press on. The dungeon's deep. It's so deep. Your path forwards will take you into the forest. Great, but I thought we just came out of a cave or something that took us to the forest. So I guess I'm not quite quite sure what's happening right now. But let's head on to the next leg of our adventure. On this floor, the king of dust waits for you. Oh my god. He is prepared. Are you? Okay, here's what I'm. We're gonna go, boom, 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 and we're gonna hope that's him. If not, we'll we'll go to we'll try these two. I mean, he could be like one of these, I guess. But oh, rat men! It Please don't be a six and a an six. Enemy of the rat men. They do not normally attack unless provoked. Oh boy, eight of them. All right, let me take a sip of my coffee here. Hang on. Wait, my cup's backwards. I know that's weird. Hmm that my cup was backwards but it has like a vent on it and it only works when you sip it the right way it's really weird it's like a little sippy cup you know for kids but for grown-ups it's a grown-up sippy cup boom right back in his face I might have said boom really loud I apologize if I did okay face wreck I am not dodging so great right now I'm actually trying to concentrate pretty hard there's eight of these mofos on here right now Dude, you are not going to slice me. No, get out of the poison. Uh-oh. Okay, we got into the poison there. That's not... That's not good. Get away from the poison. Scrope. Oh my gosh, I'm jumping through the poison. I can't stop. I can't stop. Once you pop, you can't stop. Eat those Pringles. Tasty. That was my Pringles song. It could be the new jingle that you hear on the radio next time. Pringles show up. Something to think about. Man, we have the crappiest equipment right now. This is... Not a very fair match. You know, if we didn't have a shield, this would be, like, ridiculous. Because I'm, I'm, like, even with a shield, I'm still getting wrecked. So what was he doing? He was, like, sparkling? Or something? I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. I'm not going to judge it. You know? I'm not going to I'm not gonna judge. We did it. That's what matters. All right, so we've already seen that. They don't have anything for us. They're essentially just, like... A resource burner, you know? You just want to get out of there with hopefully not taking damage. Alright, new card. Traveling jeweler. Oh, no gold. Damn it. In a straighty grove off the beaten trail, you find another merchant that you can't afford. Okay, let's pass it by. Because <laughs> we can't afford them. We are now officially out of food. Charity. Ooh, this could ah, be what we need. The wandering mendicant. Will humanity ever move beyond poverty, religion, and charity? No, we probably won't, to be honest, because that is what it means to be human. Okay, so you encounter a priest. All right, what do you want, priest? Give food to the priest. Oh, we don't even have any food. No, dang it. Yeah, oh my, oh, yeah, make me feel even worse. That children are going to go hungry now. That's great. So, I mean, we have no food. We have no gold. We're going to take damage every time we move now. What an ignominious way to go. I oh, hope you find something to eat soon. Uh oh. The very apotheosis of intellect. Magicians. I cannot fault your choice. Though I wonder how you will fare against such tactics. So, the Mages Tower. This is interesting. The Mages of Koran are the last human magic users. They are worshipped and feared in equal measure. Let's see what this says. A little subtext here. They hide away in their towers which they build ever upwards to grow closer to the gods they hope to usurp. 
Man, good luck with that. That is a cool looking tower that looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? There's a All right, let's see what we have to deal with. If you win. Great. Put that float the token, please. Great. Okay, it's levitating. All right, we approach the tall spire that shines with magical energy. Oh, we are definitely entering this tower. As soon as your hand touches the cold iron doors, the mages are alerted to your presence. Well, shite. You know, like, we didn't search for a magic rune or something first on the door. Or, you know, we didn't, like, you know, whisper Balrog like Gandalf does when he's trying to open the great dwarven, you know, stone door or whatever. Holy crap. What is going on here? Three mages. Boom. So I can actually deflect their ranged attack. And this guy has a book over his head. We, like... We pause for a moment to read the book. That'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it? We're like, hang on. Oh my god, we just wrecked that guy. We blocked all three of his hits. Oh my gosh, we just knocked him off the side. The fact that you can do that is awesome. Let's see if he gets knocked off. That is awesome. Oh no, his book. Now we're not going to have a book for the uh, library updates that we promised everybody. Alright, so what are we getting here? You've made an enemy of the Mage's Guild. Well, that's, Your that's not a problem. We only have one token so far. That's... Oh, wow. We suck. Okay, so moment of truth here. Which way are we going to go? You know what? I feel like it's this one. I feel like this is it. Oh, yes! Very few yes. are so foolish as to deliver themselves to the king. So, the king of dust. All right, we got a little lucky there. He looks really creepy, but uh, the king is fierce in battle, but loyal to his troops. He can choose to heal them during combat. Bullcrap. The king of dust broke faith with king and country long ago and has made himself rich and powerful through the judicious, judicious <laughs> application of cruelty and terror outside of law for decades. I still had like some some coffee in my Win mouth there. And claim my token. It was definitely hard to. Don't don't ever try that. Yeah, so all right, let's let's deal with this guy. What sort of uh, troops is he going to bring into combat? Like maybe a 3 of dust, I'm feeling maybe a 4 of dust. Okay. Hey, 4 of dust. Not too far. So we are literally fighting this with default equipment. I really regret giving that guy half of our uh, our food, but I mean, we did get two blessings out of it. So remember, when we reach half health, we're going to fully heal. Oh! Alright, let's go, let's go deal with these chumps first. Boom. Just block them a little bit. Swing and a slice. And slice some cheese. That is the way you do it before you rub it on your tasty knees. You guys hear that sweet song? Oh, man. You know, it wouldn't be life without having sweet songs. You just got to be able to make them up on the fly and just roll with it. Just, uh, you know, don't ever forget and, like, rock it out at work. It has happened a couple times over the years. And it is truly a magical experience when everybody looks at you with their eyes all wide. Like, that was so professional up in the office. Slice, slice, dead. Wait, did he just, did the uh, King of Dust just wreck that guy? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're making, we're making good progress. Look at that, he even hit himself. Oh my gosh. That was the silliest block I think I've ever tried to make. Okay, watch, he's gonna wreck himself here. All right, you know what, we gotta try to kill him. We're gonna try to see if he can kill himself. Let's try it, watch this. Do your little casty thing. Here he goes, now I'll move. Come on. This would be sweet if it kills him. We'll try one more time. Look how easy this guy is. So I'll just chill right here. Uh-oh, that can't be good. Okay, here he goes. Summoning the... Uh, oh, oh. All right, well, let's just get after this guy. This should be pretty easy. There we go. We got our full heal, I think. Get out of there. He hits really hard, too. Get out of there. Wow, once I start swinging, I can't get out of there. There we are. There we are. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you going to try and stop me? Homie, don't play that. Kick. Punch. Oh, my God. He's killing me. All right. All right. Focus, Groat. Focus. A lot of dodge rolls. Single swing. Let's just get out of there. Single swing. Get out of there again. Maybe a double on this one. How much health does this guy have? This is... No! No! Oh my freaking god, if he kills me, there's no way he has this much health. Alright, I gotta focus super hard. There. Oh, there we go. I was getting really worried. 
We did it! King of Dust defeated. So far, this has been a pretty successful run. There are many who will be pleased that you have defeated the likes of my lesser king. As for me, I think you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely. A set of new trinkets for you. You will need them, and more. That can't be good, that he's, he's like adding more challenges. So let's see what we unlocked here with our tokens. So, at least we got something for the mages. A couple of equipment cards here. Uh, mage gloves. Mage mask. Okay, these make sense. And uh, battle at Bricktop Encounter and the Apprentice. Ooh, it's Portal. Oh my god, I wonder if Valve knows about this. Alright, let's add the cards. And activate the other token, the Fister token. This is for the Bandit King. So we got uh, Feathered Ice. I don't know what that could be. Some sort of slow thing, maybe. Uh, Life's Limb. That looks like a sweet weapon. Uh, Jack of Scales, probably the next boss. Heroes Remain, excuse me. Field of Poppies, ooh, that's what I like. And Stranger in the Shadow. Never ever talk to a Stranger in the Shadow. Especially if you're come, from Middle Earth. Come once more to the game. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fun run, I think we did alright. I mean, we were living on the edge there for most of the run. Uh, because I... Foolishly gave away half our food to that priest because I felt bad and then I couldn't I had no food to give to the kids Like we gave an old guy a bunch of food so we would starve a bunch of kids later on I felt like that was a horrible choice But these are the things we have to live with you know And I'm the one who's gonna have to think about that for the rest of my life So anyways, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, We'll be kicking it off here in another uh, day or two with the next episode uh, You know maybe going up against the jack of scales. We'll see how that rocks. So until then I hope you all have a great one Take it easy and stay classy.